you're getting ready to rebuild your motor but before you tore it down you heard this annoying rattle uh, especially towards the front of the motor and most of the time that's what we call the kips rattle now, there's a couple of things you can do while you're rebuilding your motor that will greatly reduce it even if your valves are pretty worn you know if the teeth are worn there's only so much you can do uh, but if the teeth are in relatively good shape uh, check your vertical clearance on the valves inside the cylinder a lot of times you can actually shim them a little bit not too much because you got to have a certain clearance in there otherwise they'll get gooped up and they won't move at all but think about it this is what controls your center flapper uh, this little groove right here which these pins ride in and so if these things get worn either the pin or the grooves what happens well you're not getting all the lift on your center flapper that you should and the more lift the less lift you get the less power you're gonna make because you're lowering your port timing so another thing you can do uh, besides shimming the valve is replacing these pins there's two different ones uh, and you can pull those out generally with a pair of vice grips uh, I typically like to replace mine with a one piece and I typically make it about one millimeter longer on each side because these little edges here get rounded or get flattened off and then again you're not as getting as much lift as you should and then there's a third one that goes all the way through right there goes all the way through to there and same thing you can replace that pin well what can you replace it with simple uh, just go down and uh, order some four millimeter drill rod uh, I bought a piece on eBay I forget it was like ten dollars for about a foot <laughs> And uh, that'll that'll um, make these edges all nice and round. It'll help bring. You can see how kind of that kind of wiggles back and forth. It'll help tighten those up. Now, once the ID of these parts gets worn, it'll only do so much. But it's better than just putting it back in there, completely loose with the old pins. And then another thing you can do is the Kips bolt modification. What that does. It goes in your cylinder here and by controlling how deep it goes or how far back this way it goes that rod inside there will move and so what I like to do is adjust it while I've got the valves in there which this cylinder does not have the valves in it and take up some of that uh, slack that's in there uh, but making sure of course that the valves open and close correctly once you've got it in there and like I say you can shorten the length of this or you can add um, spacers in here uh, because they're all a little bit different depending upon their again manufacturing tolerances and how worn out all the rest of your assembly is now where can you get one of these cool little bolts well if you got one of these laying around you've got one it just takes a little work and that's that guy right there you take him out, you throw that in a lathe, turn it down, and you got it. Uh, now, what size is that? I don't know. But I thought ahead this time and brought my calipers. What do we got? This one's cut at 18.16. All right? Not a bad place to start. But there again, shimming is generally required of some sort or... Uh, you know modifying adjusting that length to a certain degree so that's pretty much it um, there's some other things that you can do of course while you're there uh, cleaning everything really good is always important you know I see guys putting their valves back in they're filthy dirty they're all uh, coated and crud and stuff but man just a few minutes of cleanup and uh, it makes it to where the uh, uh, carbon sticks less so you retain more of the power you're making longer. At least that's the theory, right? And this one's just a real quick polish, nothing crazy. Uh, Jason Tanner likes to get his like glass, but um, this was for demonstration purposes. So there you have it. Any questions? Post them up.